Hey what is guys, my name is Rick and welcome to a handbrake tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your gigabytes worth of video files into just megabytes without a significant loss of quality, um, which is before and after. And as you can see, the only difference is slightly noticeable if you do like a comparison and it's in the brightness of the video. Uh, but yeah, it's not that noticeable and the file size drop is dramatic. Anyway, so pretty much all you're going to need for this tutorial is handbrake itself and obviously a video to decode down. So once you have your video, I'm going to use the same one that I used in the um, before and after. So I'm going to drag it in, it's 2.74 gigabytes. And after decoding or after using this method, I got it down to 24.1 megabytes. So that's a big difference in file size. Anyways, once you have dropped in your video file into um, handbrake, you're going to first want to go up tools options and make sure that under user interface you have show advanced encoder options tab enabled now once you enable that if you don't have it enabled you can just click on close and from here you're going to want to uh, change the in the output settings you're going to want to enable web optimized especially if it's for youtube um, from picture you don't really want to change anything neither from filters in video you can change the frame rate to um, constant frame rate um, just to make it make, make sure that the frame rate doesn't uh, fluctuate and from optimized video you're going to want to enable use advanced tab instead from quality you can keep it the same it's a quite uh, 20 is quite good um, from audio if you if your video has audio and it doesn't show an audio track here you can just click on add track it doesn't really matter if it, if it already shows your audio, then that's good. If you don't want the audio, you can just press this button and it will get rid of it. Anyways, from subtitles, you don't want to add anything, neither from chapters. Um, in advanced tab, you're going to only want to change one setting and it's reference frames from 3 or whatever it is right now to 4 and that's pretty much it. Now, all you have to do is choose the destination and the name of the file. I'm going to keep it the same and then press on start and we'll start to encode the video and over, I've already done this so I'm not going to uh, finish this up it only took me like six minutes or so and the file size as I said before and showed in the before and after it went for uh, from 2.74 gigabytes down to just 24.1 megabytes and yeah I'll throw up the comparison before and after right now as well before and after and yeah that's pretty much it um, quick nifty tutorial for you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot if you have any questions or suggestions for video future videos or whatever then leave those in the comment section down below and as always don't forget to subscribe